The first sorting algorithm that we're gonna take a look at is called the selection sort. So I've got seven cards here that we're gonna sort using this particular algorithm. Um, I've noted here in blue that this is referred to as the unsorted region, which now is the all seven cards are, are unsorted. So what I'm gonna do as we go through this is I'm gonna look at each card. Um, I'm basically gonna scan through the entire unsorted region and I'm going to find the card with the least value. Um, and so I'm gonna keep use the red marker to denote um, which card has currently the least value and the blue marker to denote which card I'm looking at. So I'm gonna start here with the first card, which is the 10, it's currently the least. I then look at the four, it's now the least. I look at the seven, not the least. I look at the nine, not less than four. I look at the two that is less than four, so I'll keep track that the two is the smallest. I'll look at the eight, not less than two. I'll look at the five, not less than two. Um, so this card is the um, least, has the least value in the unsorted region. And so with the selection sort, once we determine which card has the least value, we then swap it um, with the uh, card at the beginning of the unsorted region. So I'm gonna swap the two and the 10. And now my unsorted region changes slightly because the first card is now in the correct place. So I'm not, now I'm gonna perform the algorithm uh, again, or really just that step of the algorithm again. Um, starts off that four has the smallest value. Seven is not less than four not nine, not 10, not eight, not five. So the four is the smallest value in the unsorted region. I swap it with the element at the beginning of the unsorted region, which in this case is itself. So it stays put and the unsorted region becomes smaller. All right, so we scan through again. The seven is currently the smallest card, not nine, not 10, not eight, Five is less than seven, so five is our smallest card. So therefore, we're gonna swap the five with the card at the beginning of the unsorted region, which is the seven, and the unsorted region shrinks again. All right, scanning again. Nine is the smallest card, not the 10. Uh, eight is smaller than nine. Seven is, all, is smaller than the eight, um, so seven is the smallest card in the unsorted region. We swap the seven with the card at the beginning of the unsorted region, and the unsorted region shrinks. We're down to three cards in our unsorted region. Uh, 10 is the initial card, it's the smallest. Eight is less than 10, it is now the smallest. Nine is not, so eight is the smallest card. We swap it with the card in the beginning. We are now down to these two cards. We start here. 10 is the smallest card, nine is smaller than 10. So nine is the smaller card in the unsorted region. We swap it with the card at the beginning of the unsorted region. The unsorted region is now a single card, which means that card must be in the correct place and, and we are done. The cards are now sorted, that's the selection sort algorithm. The one thing I wanna point out, however, is that the first pass through the unsorted region, I looked at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. The next pass, I looked at six cards, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then five cards, four cards, three cards, two cards, and then just that final card. So the no total number of cards I looked at um, with the number of cards equaling seven in this example was N, and then n minus one, and then n minus two, oops, and then n minus three, and so on and so forth, until eventually I just got to one. This can be written as n multiplied by n plus one divided by two, which can be expanded to be n squared plus n over two. And what I want to focus on is that as n gets big, what we truly care about is this part of the expression here, the n squared. Um, 
the way we we state this in terms of as n gets big, we say this algorithm is um, on the order of n squared, meaning as the number of cards doubles, the number of cards we have to look at to sort it quadruples. Um, we don't really care about the plus n, we don't even care about the n over 2, we're just interested in how this algorithm scales for large values of n. We refer to this as the big O notation, and that's something we'll look a little bit more into throughout this chapter.